<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favourites video and a few flops, so keep watching. So the first product I have is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and Concealer. My foundation is the shade Soft Ivory and the concealer is Light Ivory. The concealer is a perfect shade for me, but the foundation is just, I think it's one shade too light, but I've got it on today and I'll make it work with a bronzer. But it's a really good foundation for a drugstore. Um, I'll link it down below in the prices, are. I've, I've forgotten, I'm not quite sure, but it's, um, they've just got it now in Bootsies, it's an American brand and I've never tried it before, so I'm liking what I am trying from them. Um, I don't know about its claims for photo flashback, it says it's tested under seven light conditions, but I mean it looks good in pictures and it's working with these lights, I think it looks nice, but, so I think it's just a, a really good foundation concealer, I'm really really enjoying them, it goes well with any type of primer, I've used it under an oil based primer and a silicone primer and they seem to, it seems to work really well so I'm really pleased with it so that's my first favourite so my next favourite is the Essence Matte Touch Blush in Bronze Me Up I'm wearing it today as a sort of bronzy blusher it wouldn't work as a contour or a regular bronzer because it's too pinky but it's really nice on the cheeks, I've got it on today and it really warms up the face and I think that was like 150 or something so really worth buying from Wilco's in the UK. Um, I'm not sure you can get Essence anywhere else, but I'll link it down below. This favourite I have is the L'Oreal Back to Bronze and the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Bronze and Blush. The bronze is in the shades 2 Sunkissed and the blush is 1 Peach Addict. I'm really liking these at the minute as it, it's not a very, very strong bronzer, but it's really nice and glowy. And then the blush, a really nice peachy colour. They haven't got much of a scent, this is supposed to be like a tropical scent, a peach scent. If they do smell, it's like a slightly chemically strange smell. I don't know why products have to have smells, makeup products, like chocolate and peach and tropical scents. It doesn't stay on your face, so your face doesn't smell like a peach, so I, I don't get the point, to be honest. But, you know, it's another selling claim, I suppose. My next favourite is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Katsu Eyeshadow. I have it in the shade Red Camel Back. But it is a cream eyeshadow that just goes on so nice and dries down matte. It's the perfect eyeshadow primer for me in this shade because it's almost the exact same shade as my skin tone. And it just cancels out any redness or any veins on the eye if you want to do a really, you know, a light look. But I think it's a really, really good primer. It's the same shade for me as Soft Ochre from MAC. Soft Ochre is probably a touch lighter, but it's it's a similar sort of primer for me. But Soft Ochre is more sticky, whereas this dries down actually matte. But it's a really, really good primer. I really like it. And I will get this in other shades just to use as an eyeshadow, just a one shadow look, maybe with a shimmer on the lid. But it's a really, really good eyeshadow. I really recommend these. Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu. And this is a really nice cruelty free brand. I'm trying to buy cruelty free from now on. I know a lot of products I've got aren't cruelty free, but I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm just going to try from now on and buy cruelty free. I don't see why makeup isn't cruelty free. There's no need for testing on animals anymore, but there you go. And my next favourite is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator in Coconut. This is really nice. I haven't tried anything like this before, but it really does well. It moisturises your lips and exfoliates them. So when you rub off the, you know, beads, it really does it leave them nice and moisturised. I haven't tried a lip exfoliator before, but I really, really love this. So now I've got two more eye favourites, which is the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in the shade Bronze Metal. This is a really nice shadow stick. I wore this yesterday. I've been wearing this just as a one shadow look. It's really, really nice eyeshadow stick and stays on all day. I don't need to set it or anything. This is really good and worth it. I'll link this down below. I think this was like £2 or something. I think you can get it. You can definitely get it in boots, but I think you can get it all over really really gorgeous colour. So my next favourite is the Essence Eyeliner Pen in just white. I think this is about 150 and it's really good if you're doing a really bright eyeshadow look. It's just a white eyeliner pen but it's so good. I did a turquoise look with this and I put it all over the lid and it really cut the crease and it made the base of the eyeshadow really stand out like if you put a shimmer on top. So I really like it. It actually reminds me of the NYX eyeshadow base, um, the plain white smudge stick one I think, but this dries down matte. That one does have more stick so the shimmer does cling to it more. But for 150 I think it's a really really good eyeliner. My only lip favourite this month is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Antwerp. This is a really really nice, it's sort of like a liquid lipstick but I only put it on, I only dot it on and blend it in. And this is the shade. 
it doesn't come out as dark as this on my lips because I usually just dab it around and I've been using this with the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in Morning Coffee that is my favourite combination and then I sometimes put a gloss on top sometimes just leave it matte but this is a really gorgeous lip colour and it actually stays pretty long I'm going to get more of these NYX lip creams really really recommend this one next favourite is the Revolution the Emily Edit the Needs palette I really like Emily Noel on YouTube so I really wanted to get this palette to support and it is not disappointing me it's an amazing palette this is the layout, it's kind of a face and eye palette. Uh, this is a setting powder called Kindness. Uh, this is a contoury bronze courage. The blush is like a shimmery peachy colour called Joy. And there's a highlighter here called Gratitude. So the eyeshadow shades are Honesty, Faith, Hope, Passion, Love and Peace. I've been using all of these. I've been using Hope for an eyebrow. This is a really good shade for me as an eyebrow colour. These two, for me, I've been using to set my eyeshadow with. This one I have been using as under eye powder. These are really, really good as face powders and also as eyeshadows. This Gratitude is really good shimmer for the inner corner. The eyeshadow shades are really creamy and really blendable. So are the face colours. I think this is a really good all-round palette and so perfect for travel because you've got setting powder, bronzer, blush, highlighter and then all of these eyeshadow colours, which this one, Hope, for me, is also an eyebrow colour. So it's absolutely perfect. I can just carry all of this in the one palette and it's really really nice streamlined size and it's got a perfect mirror for travel so I really do recommend this palette I really think you should pick it up at the minute I think Superdrug has got a three for two on so you could get this her bigger palette and then this next palette I'm about to show you from Revolution this next palette I've got is the Soph Revolution Extra Spice palette I didn't know this palette was a YouTuber's until I bought the palette and then saw it online and it's Soph Does Nails who created this palette I think it's a really really good palette it's got a really nice mirror again streamlined packaging these revolution palettes always are sort of laid out nicely and, and really pretty i've used all of these shades and they're all really really gorgeous the shimmers as with any palette you kind of need to i think use a fix plus or a wet brush to use them to get really maximum shimmer from them or at least you just use the, your little finger just to pack them on i think that's you'll get the best but just going on dry i think with any shimmer no matter how good a quality it is you're not going to get the best payout i think unless you go in with a wet brush but that's just my opinion but yeah i think this is a really really gorgeous drugstore palette and it was 10 pounds i think same as the emily noel or 10.50 or something like that but really really worth it like i said we've got a three for two on at the minute so it would make if you bought the two emily noel palettes it would make this one free so it's a really good offer now onto some not so favorite so this is a first flop for me this is the elf prep and blur stick it's sort of a my skin tone color and you put it on it says in circ it says to put it on in circular motions and then blend it out with your fingers but to me this is just a slimy mess it, it just makes your foundation go all over it doesn't stick to it it never dries down it just stays this sort of thick sort of slime on the top of my skin and it really doesn't help with oil it just shows it through it just makes the oil show through and then the second it really doesn't work for oils on my skin because they just show through the front and the second that they do the foundation just breaks up and it goes that sort of cakey mess it's horrible but this just was a miss for me it's the elf booster drops the bronzing one this is supposed to you're supposed to put this on before makeup or whenever as long as your skin's clean and it's supposed to give like a bronzy glow that's supposed to develop so the first time i tried it i just applied it all over and it did nothing the next day nothing that night it just did nothing for my skin then the second time i applied it i applied it really concentrated in my cheekbones and like up here in the contour areas and a, a tiny bit across my nose and chin just to try and give me that like bronzy glow where you would normally contour but it does nothing if you have this and you find that it does something for you please let me know what i'm doing wrong with it because i really can't there's no color coming from this whatsoever so it's a fail for me now the next product is the l'oreal infallible magic essence drops this is like brightening primer drops you know it's fun to look at it's blue and it's exciting and it's got this dropper you feel like you're all instagrammy when you're dropping it on and it's all mm. but it doesn't actually do anything it doesn't really brighten me for some reason it just leaves my skin a weird texture so when i do put foundation on it just leaves me a bit sort of dry and hard it's not it's really i don't understand what it's supposed to be doing like I understand that this blue sort of plays off and comes off, of, uh, it's supposed to be brightening, but it doesn't actually come off blue on the skin, it's just an extra step that leaves my skin a weird texture. It's a really strange product and it's not a favourite from me. The next product is a drugstore mascara from Essence. I love Extreme Curl and Volume Mascara. Now this product is okay, it's okay, but the brush is absolutely terrifying. The size of this brush, I don't know anybody that could make it work, it's absolutely massive. 
I'll do a comparison to the Lush Paradise. It's absolutely mental the size of this brush. The bottom one is the Lush Paradise and that's a regular size mascara wand and the top one is the Essence. I don't think you can even see on camera how gigantic this brush actually is. When I go to put it on it's always hitting here or it's so big that it doesn't catch the little eyelashes and if I try to go in here it just gets all stuck in there and it's just a complete mess. It's too big of a mascara wand for me. And I just think it just it coats over the lashes. It doesn't actually get in them. So it's not a favourite from me. It's not an expensive mascara, but the other Essence mascaras in the sort of lady-shaped bottles that look like they remind me of um, an Asui sort of shape. Those ones are really, really good. But this one is just... It's not very good. Now the next product is a Wet n Wild quad called Hooked on Vinyl. You can see obviously had a Wet n Wild spurge. <laughs> But it's a nice palette in theory, I really like the colours, the turquoise, this goldy tan shimmer, this beige transition and this white, all over white matte. And perfect for just a simple look, but when the second I put it on, no matter what tools I'm using, no matter what primer I'm using, which I've used it a few different ways, it just looks like it's already worn down when I put it on. The shimmer, isn't it, the shimmer looks like I've worn it for like 8 hours and then I'm putting it on. You know, and it never really changes from then. Like it lasts and it never really changes from then so it lasts but when you're putting it on it looks the colours aren't showing up as vividly now I've got other wet n wild quads that I've been trying out that I really like but this one just isn't it for me I think it's I think it's nice to look it's nice to look at but I've tried it with all the shimmers with all different types of setting sprays and products and I've tried it with other eyeshadows and they just look already worn down when you put them on so I think others, other wet and wild quads that are more worth it than this one so that was my monthly favourites for March and I hope you enjoyed watching I hope you stick around because I hope to be filming a ton more videos on products that I really love to talk about so thank you for watching and bye